Yeah, we're live. Hi there to everybody on Twitch. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am Joe Tano, also known as Ryder Kick. We have Matt Hughes and Justice Cervini. We are Total Justice Gaming. Uh, a lot of you that are viewers that do know us, uh, we talk about uh, card games. More specifically, uh, Jasco Games, Universal Fighting System, UFS. Uh, also in the show, we also talk about Level 99 stuff, Millennium Blades, Battlecon, uh, Exceed, and also Versus system. Uh, new stuff, not the old stuff. If we talked about the old stuff, we'd be here forever. Uh, Matt and I stream on a normal basis on my PS4. Uh, we have a show called Get Good. Uh, Matt will be streaming other things, and at some point, Jesse will also be streaming on this channel too. So, hi. well, when they start, when they unban my game, I will talk and work it on it. <laughs> what game are you talking about? What game did you have banned? Hootie Cam Studio got banned. It's actually up for it's actually up for reevaluation. If it's, I'll, I'll start streaming it. <laughs> I feel unsafe about this already. <laughs> <laughs> no, I plan to. Uh, uh, we're gonna be streaming uh, Overwatch uh, when it comes out. We yes. got some. We got some plans. Uh, I will be streaming Overwatch on the PS4. I don't know how these two are streaming Overwatch. They'll probably be on the PC. I'm guessing. Yep. Uh, we're just a little round chit chatty show. If you guys haven't seen us, if you have, you can head over to YouTube. We have over 150 videos of content. Uh, I myself have been doing this personally for over two years now. Uh, Matt and Jesse are my second co-hosts, but you guys probably already figured that out by now. <laughs> uh, we do have chat, as always. We had chat. We used to stream over on Google+. Plus. We finally got off our butts, meaning I finally downloaded the software and pulled Matt aside and told me, had him tell me how to get all this stuff worked out, so we were good to go. Uh, what do we got first night? Uh, do we have any PTCs? I don't coming think there's out. one. Of, there's coming up. There's ones, but there well, wasn't. We haven't had any again. since Vegas, right? No, Vegas no. or Arkansas, which is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, uh, Vegas was the last yeah. one. Vegas the next one's one. going to be Omaha, which is the weekend after this, I believe. Yes. Yes. Because it's and April 30th and the May 1st. Then uh, and the Rockstar 2K in Vegas. All right. Uh, right. Yeah. We, no, there's one week after. There's a two week. There's a week. There's a week break, and then it's the two K. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and to anyone that's going, uh, even though Jason showed off those Indians boxes today, I believe there is still the plan of the Indian set will not be legal for the two K. Uh, that is my correct. personal belief is what I actually said on the UK uh, Facebook page. Release date or it didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, we got to see. Oh, yeah, yeah like, we, saw, just... we saw Jason hold boxes. I, I, I don't know what else to go with on this time. We have Jason with boxes. Like, these are things. and They don't mean anything. They aren't even, like, I, I, until I have... You know, store you know stores have a way to buy them and order them and have a date of arrival. Not much else to do with it. Right. All but right. I hope we'll see them soon. I hope they'll be cool. Uh, I'm looking forward. You know, just having new cards more than anything. Anybody on the Twitch chat? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, some people may not even know uh, if there are people that didn't check our Facebook right away. And well, see, I like, the three times. The yeah. Uh, I also know a lot of uh, them, they watch it the next day. Like, all of Amsterdam watches it on Friday. Yep. Amsterdam, New York, or Amsterdam... New York. Amsterdam, New York. So, okay, then. let's just get into those juicy, juicy spoilers. You say that, but the first one is one of the... It, it reminds me of Garbage Pail Kids. And if Anybody watches Nostalgia Critic, I fully endorse everything he says about the Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> that being said, here's our first spoiler. Uh, Psychedelic Dream World. God, that thing is hideous. It, it, my God. I should probably uh, pull up a copy of the spoilers so that way I can actually read them. 
because so, of the time delay. Yeah. So this is uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I read out the cards. Um, it is a five difficulty or what's called, uh, we call difficulty. It's standardized casting costs, uh, a three check. Uh, it has no block on it. Uh, it has generic symbols, I believe of, uh, life order and order. void. And oh, these are, even though it's a rare, uh, I think it's supposed to be, I don't know. Maybe it's like, it matches cherry symbols, but I don't think it's a cherry card. If it is, then Cherry was one ugly child. Like, it, it's got the bandages on her. So, it could be... It's a Fabio Fontes art, which I've never really looked at. Uh, but it looks like it very much could be Cherry. We'd have she to go get a level 99 guy. a ton of baby fat when she was young. Anyways. Uh, it's no, it's just, it's just a bad artist. I'm going to say it right there. I don't think it's bad. I, I, I think that his style... I, I, I don't, I don't like his style. Mick, his, his style with Indies doesn't look Yeah, it's his good. style with Indies. Because he does the art for Millennium Blades, and it looks awesome in that. Yeah, and it fits well with that, but like, I don't know what we're looking at here. I, I, I don't know like who this is representing. Like Everybody else like, at least identify like, a, a character. I'm like, I think we know what character this is, but this just is like, eh? Okay, so this is first form. So this is the very first thing you do after you draw your cards and whatnot. Uh, remove this from the game. Both players search their deck for one card, add it to their hand, then randomly discard a card. So... Is this a good card? You get to search your deck for anything, but you potentially can immediately lose it. Yes this is both... No. This is a both players thing. Um, yes. I'm going to say it like this. I, I have a seven, I am a seven hand size character. I activate this ability, and my opponent has played. My opponent's a seven hand has character. They played four cards last year. So they have three cards in hand of my seven. I use this ability. I have a one in eight chance to get the card I search for. He has a one in four. Yeah. That's, That's the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it is definitely a chance you might get screwed. But it's definitely a possibility. It's, I, I, I played Gamble in Magic back in the day when people thought that card was awful. And you know what? I'll do the same thing in UFS. I will yeah. go like, all right, do this. Gamble search. was a card. Um, for me, I'm just a very unlucky person. <laughs> uh, that's you, roll that, you, roll eight, you roll a dice for eight, and you're like, oh, there's my card. I might play this card as a one-of, though. Just to get that final two check out of my deck. Hmm. Um, but I used to, way back in the day, early on, uh, play You Must Defeat Chen Long. To search for your other Ryu Tatsumaki to get it out of the deck so that yep. you had no, you were down to no one. You had no more one checks left. Yep. I yep. remember doing that. Um, so that alone might make this as a solid one-of. Um, the only downside is, like, if you're playing against an air all or life deck, they're always going to go get Templar, and you're just like, damn it. <laughs> okay, but they have a one in four, one in three chance yeah. of getting it. Like, you have, you have, a, your your chances of losing your card are way less. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a mathematic game. Like, yeah. is this card insane? No. But is it, like, you want to play one? Most of the time, yeah. Like this is gonna. If there's a control deck that wants to play less attacks, um, this card will be nice. Is it fantastic? Fantastic. No. Is it playable? Yes. Yes. Uh, the five difficulty may be a bit daunting for some newer players. You can do it. Oh yeah. Please don't ever. And you know, card. on top of this. Um, doesn't this share symbols with uh, not high school crush? Is it high school crush? Which card are you on? Card, oh. What ability are you going for? Uh, anything with Athena that can instantly put stuff down for free. Oh, yeah. Athena shares two symbols. Yeah. So like, you can um, just play so Athena can... and get this card for free, not even have to worry about the casting cost. Except it's a first half. So then you I mean, you're getting it for next turn. You're setting yourself up for next turn. Yeah, yes. that's fine. Um, what 
I like, and I kind of just derped and forgot on this card. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I want uh, from the Mega Man set we saw a while back, what I'm seen so far, uh, Transform, uh, which can uh, protect it against Ever Hopeful. Yeah. Um, so putting this into my Metal Man combo deck that wants to play all of its uh, top spins. Hmm. Like, I like that. Like, you, uh, oh, I go get my top spin. Oh, I screwed up and I discarded my top spin. All right. Play my other, play my transform. Go get the top spin. Yep. Yeah. All right. So this, this could be a real thing in that. Yeah. yeah. All right. All moving right. on. We got Elagor. Took me a moment. Yep. Uh, Elagor is six hand size, 27 health. He is all good in order. He has enhance. If your opponent opponent's attacks deals damage, your first attack next turn gets plus two damage and plus two speed. And response commit. Uh, after your opponent's non unblocked attack resolves, play one reversal. So the first thing we got to note is he is really good. Um, his enhance does stack. Yep. Um, um. I play Did against. Did we a ever lot look at the effects? LGR for? Um... Did we ever look at the LGR for uh, uh, the reversal? Oh, oh no! There, I, there's I there's a wording. There's a big wording thing that has to like. To my understanding, here's how it works: is you are playing a card that is a reversal keyword, but you are not playing the reversal keyword. Yes. I have already talked to Shane about this. Uh, they said that is how it's going to be. So if you use this response, any of your abilities, like his foundation that we'll get to in a little bit, that uh, work on cards that you play as a reversal will not work on this card. Yeah. But you get to play a reversal without needing to block. So that of itself might be pretty good. Yeah. Like... Reversaling with Kersplat for free and then gaining some life back. And then I, and having your next card be non-progressive. Okay. Yeah. Um, I really like that E also because I played against a, I play against a lot of little effects. So mm -hmm. if they fail, if they play like five attacks on you and fail to kill, kill you, it. yeah, it's like oh look, plus ten, plus ten, yeah. bonk. I, like Sit I, I, I can't wait to. Like, I really want to play, like, the big attack all deck, like, with him and just be like, all right, I have, I'm playing, like, all of my, the reversal, the all reversal and stuff like that. And then you're just like, here's my HRK. It's plus 10, plus 10. Oh, I have his amulet. I have his medallion out. Pop it. You can't change, you can't reduce speed or damage. Good luck. Just, 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 just do uh, old school Mega Ball, uh, old school Mega Ball Trinity Geyser. Toss out a massive Mega Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody actually even thought, was telling me it's like he would be really interesting with something like that. I'm like he's okay, but you just want to play. You want to play big attack. You, you don't have to play a big attack, but a big attack with that E behind him is like you're getting plus six, plus six. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, now, imagine there's a couple. The plow are still legal. God. There are sure. a couple cards I really do like with him. Uh, I like that he shares symbols with Talbane because you can immediately uh, survive a turn. Then uh, Million Flicker. And Million Flicker, they're just not going to block the Million Flicker because the base speed is already five and you're just giving it really good damage. Yeah, and you're dragon cannons cards. really good. Like it makes dragon cannons a lot more aggressive. It may, it makes he just makes a lot of a lot of cards really good. Yeah, um, you can play Pharaoh. If you're playing off of order. You have Pharaoh Wave. Yep. It's like here's Pharaoh Wave down your throat. Uh, you can build an all or orders weapon build, uh, using Bishamon stuff and first turn Karamidama. Uh, say they <laughs> you. <laughs> Say they hit you three times, you have his asset out, two other assets. Uh, Karamidama is, I believe, a 2-5. So that is an 8-14. Uh, they either take 14 life, 
or you draw three cards. Yeah. It's not bad. He has a, he is very, I'll say this. uh, He is probably right now the most like, I like this guy and I like where he fits in the meta. Yeah. I mean, he has the potential to gel the easiest outside of maybe Hikaru into the most current set of cards uh, with Mega Man and Darkstalkers because of his abilities. And that's always a good thing. Uh, One thing I just realized uh, that it fits in really well. Uh, One of my favorite pet cards, Topspin, he's a pretty good character for playing it. Uh, You play him off of good or order, and he has that all enhanced for card draw. Yeah. And it's a Um, a reversal. (laughs) What about uh, some Jetta stuff off of good? Yeah. Um, yeah, like he's got he's got some pretty good things he can lead with. Um, he has that one like Jetta stuff is I I'm I know I, I know I'm, the, I'm blanking on all of it at the moment because uh, I would awesome say the best it. one uh, is to take the Mega Ball or actually let them Trinity guys you once. And with this new stuff we've seen, the Trinity Geyser is probably going to be mitigated a bit. Uh, then you can uh, uh, Nero Fatica. Yeah, Nero Fatica. Uh, you can respond, play Nero Fatica for free against them. Mm hmm. Which is really good. I like uh, blocking, like doing a normal block and reversal, and then uh, doing his response and playing Aerial Ring Boomerang for free. Uh, and then put it on top of your deck at the end of the turn. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's nice. All right. Aerial Ring said- Boomerang is one of those ultra rares that I love that we are st- everybody's like, hey, maybe that card might be doable now. It has playability. <laughs> <gasps> you can reversal with Tiger Kick with him and draw a card if you do his response to play it. Yep. I don't know if your opponent has no card. Damn it. Ah. I Is always a, read those wrong. I, no. I always no. think it says there's no other cards in your card pool. Okay. Oh, I'm sad now. We've sung his praises long enough. We got to move on. He's super good, though. Yep. He's like one of the best yep. characters we've done so far next to Cadenza and Hikaru. Mm-hmm. Matt, don't forget to check the. Right. Uh, oh, uh, Joe. What's up? Don't open the chat in Skype. Because now everyone can only see the chat instead of our faces. Really? Yes. Okay. We're because the cam- the camera readjusts it. Okay. <laughs> You're back. You also got a UFS cat behind you. Oh, they're they're having they're having cat battles. Okay, cat battles. There are unofficial Sorry. cat mascots. Sorry, I'm training. I got the cats training in the back. We're ready for Pokemon battles, you know. Got to have the cats ready. We're, we're waiting for those tiny cat chairs to come in from the WWE. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Uh, moving along, we got Student of the Grand Chronicle. Uh, this is two for five, a plus three mid-block. Uh, Elagor symbols, enhance, commit, your attack, play as a reversal, gets plus one damage, plus one speed, and stolen. See, I told you, Nero and Fatica is going to be awesome with him. Um, and also, uh, doesn't Bishamon God, this card... Him? I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, I just realized, like, oh my god, this card, this guy with Splat, this card with Splat is so stupid. Because yep. now there are two cards that give speed and stun bonus as a reverse on, on any on attacks. Yep. And this one does it with reversals. Uh, and then oh. we go ahead. Oh, just I like it. Uh, then his second ability is form destroy. Your opponent has ten more foundations. Commit one or more one of their foundations. This is one of those new wallbuster mechanics where uh, they are looking at. Uh, trying to make sure the opponent only has at the bare minimum 10 foundations or else abilities activate. This is actually one of the reasons I really like Million Flicker with him is because if this is in play and they have more town foundations, you tap two for no cost, practically. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still think the F's kind of weak. That E is insane, though. The no, e I think is the E's a good... I, here, here's what I think the E is. It, you're you're using the E obviously as it's supposed to be played, and then when you're going back to your turn, you're just committing out the what their leftovers are. Like they're over ten, they're just like stun, 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 
And you're like, okay, oh, what do you... Right. It's, 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 it doesn't say 10 or more ready ones, like all the It's just 10 or more. Okay. Yeah, it's it's just like, oh, you left your ever hopeful on ta- I have, like blow this up, commit your ever hopeful. Let's go to let's go to the races. Okay, I it gives okay, you swing like it. it gives you swing back. Yeah. Like okay. that it, it allows you to have swing back. That's what I like about it. RTFC folks. <laughs> RTFC. <laughs> All right. Uh we really like this card, it's really good. Now for the thing that makes him even more brokenly viable. <laughs> Red Lion Crest, which I actually am probably going to put this in Bishamon. Once I figure out where half the Bishamon deck is and the other half is. Um, so this is two for five. It's unique. Uh, when your opponents have ten or more foundations. No, no, it's when you, you. When have I have ten. it. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a bit more balanced. Uh, yeah. Right now, UFS, we're trying to... Uh, make sure that we don't wall up and we go back to a hit and block game rather than I have 40 effects. It is a hit and block game now, but it's also, it's a way to design cards. Like this is a great card of, you don't want this card to exist if you are walling. You want this card to exist on somebody trying to kill people. Yep. So it's got curse enhanced commit. If this is your first attack this turn, its damage and speed cannot be reduced by effects. Again, that six speed, fourteen damage Karamadama, looking pretty yeah. good. Mm-hmm. That uh, let me think here, math eleven mint for eight million flicker, really good. <laughs> and these are just my two personal favorite attacks. That's why I keep reiterating them, but. I see the most overall damage and I, trade-off potential. I see this card. This thing would be really good in like uh, the big all decks that have been floating around. They would, like they like they're like leave with HRK. Do all my response. Do my responses. Activate this. Cast to do this much damage, and then you're just like boom, 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 boom. You're just like setting up. You just make a gigantic speed, gigantic damage HRK. It's like good luck. And then I we just got, can't wait to play this card more. And then we got the bottom enhance. Uh, enhance remove. If this attack is not blocked, change its damage to four. Only playable and well committed. This is what I was talking about earlier with mitigating some of the more high pressure attacks that we have in this game. So those huge feral waves, Trinity Geysers, uh, any of the big, super big damage attacks we have now, they're going to second uh, think themselves. I don't even think that's a phrase. Second guess. Second, second guess. guess. Second yeah. guess is a phrase. Second think. I don't think so. Uh, second guess themselves on when is he going to blow that up and when is it safe for me to use my yep. big card. Now, here's the thing I want to make sure for people are actually more familiar with game states and stuff like that with the game. So here's what happens during the not blocking declaration. Okay. You have the, you've activated this ability. It's floating. Um, you... And then we go to declare blocks. You declared no blocks. When you have declared a not block, this floating effect occurs. And then your opponent does have the ability to use like killing dinosaurs to pump from the four damage. Yes. Or things that say you don't block or after damage step, increase the damage. Those effects are still doable, but you, it goes to four and then you do the increases. Okay. Now, then you, like, I, go ahead. It's all, but if there are floating effects, but that say not block, do damage, they're like floating from the enhancement phase, like this one. Um, it's active players all go on on first, then yours because you're the inactive player. Because if I'm just saying this, how it would work on if you're blocking on your opponent's turn, your inactive, your at your effect goes off first. And then all of theirs go off. So it'll go down to four, and then all of their abilities go off, and then they can do anything else. It's a, just want to make people aware, like how this how this t- times properly. Now I do I, have I to ask. At, yep. Um, because there is that really odd scenario of reduction versus becoming a static member. What does the LRG say to this for effects that say can't be reduced? Ch- changing or, it counts. If you change it and it would cause a reduction, it counts as reducing. Reduction, yeah. Okay. So if they have an ability that says, my damage can't be reduced, this is pointless. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to say, I really like the design of this card. 
Uh, creating cards that reward you for staying under that uh, ten, that magical number of ten that they have. I think it's a much better way to design than creating Punisher mechanic cards. Yeah. Um, because if you can have a bunch of they... cards that reward you, like people are just going to want to run those more. Like if there's a collection of really good ones, because they get to dodge any hate things and make their deck have these yeah. really nice cards. Like, I, if we kept with this design, I wouldn't be surprised if there's an asset that's going to exist like this that'll say, it'll have a floating effect saying, we can't interact with each other if we are under 10. Like, if let's say, let's say, like, there's like, if as long as I am under 10 found, uh, foundations, you can't target my foundations or something. Mm. So oh, here's a very well, you, you, or you have it like if I have under five foundations, you can't interact with me. Mm -hmm. Like so, it would work. It's sort of like you know what I mean, something like that. Yeah, like, it, no, it, I, I, I'm like it's a what? new design option we haven't seen in UFS, and that's pretty cool. So here's the question though: with this new design option, does the does the way we build decks, and will this change uh, how we build? And how we build our ratio deck ratios change because we could potentially moving into a format where we need less foundations but more decks. That's a bit of a good question, and it's going to come back to us when we review this set. Yes, I need to see everything. We have only seen like 20, 30 cards from this set. It's a ninety-nine card set. Um, but uh, yeah, that's definitely. It depends on how good the cards are. Yeah. Um. Like I actually have like a couple of articles that I've written and I should probably post. And that's basically exactly a question I ask and go over and try to do the math for. And I should probably proofread that and put it up. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. All right, let's move on. Yep. Uh, we have Seasoned Guide. Uh, two difficulty, five, no block, uh, all order and void. Um, a static ability of this card does not count towards uh, progressive difficulty. And then response while it's in the card pool after an attack is played, reveal the top card of your deck. So this, this is really card, good. It's it's neat, spam. It's um, yeah, it's it's neat. Um, it allows. It's another card. It's like the um the one Robert Foundation, the the one that the, the dragon of blah blah yeah. blah. Um, that it kind of like you play it before everything else, and then it just and then you actually progress a turn. Uh, but yeah, this card does have some cool interactions that I like. I, I mean, I like it how it fits into certain decks that need to like have have the looksy thing. They're like the, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna reveal this. Sweet, I know this is there. Use effects properly so that I get you to get that card. Like, like if you're going play this, play an attack, and then you're like, oh, I need to find out if I need that card or not. Do an effect like you see in that card. I'm like, oh, use one of my draw effects, draw that card. I was gonna like, say, doesn't it, it, this card really actually benefit Boomerang? Uh, yeah, Ringman quite a bit. Ringman, it actually makes that interesting because you like play your first, you play this, play your first attack. And you're like, see your next check. It allow like it gives you sight, and sight's good. Like, and plus you because Spring Man's a real all-in type of deck in, in most design styles. Um, His I, card draw card, where yeah. it's game if you hit it. Oh yeah. Uh, you're like, that's, play that's the, what it's <laughs> like. Oh, check this. Oh, I name this. Like, well, you you mill the card too. Yeah. It's name a card. Check or discard it if it's an in card draw card. It's it's yeah. it's, it's it's cool interactions. Yeah. Um, it. I actually I've actually just I actually made a test version of it just to feel how it sits in it. Um, it gives Order Kim another three tink and like I just put another four. I put four of them in and I'm like let's just see what happens here. And it gives you literally four more team Kims. You're putting a card in your card pool, so you're playing a card from your hand. But the order version has so many draw effects that you can just play this card. You're like, play this, go off, and not have a team Kim in play, and you're safe. It's kind of crazy. You're just like, go. This is where I somewhat question their play test in in-house playtesting now, because there are certain cards that just don't need to interact with each other. 
No, I like this. I also think this card's kind of cool. And like, you could champion of Southtown into play. Oh yeah, yeah champion Southtown's. Probably that's a one cool. Of my that, that, that's a cool one you can do. It's like kind of like with um, Ladies Man, like that. Like same interaction. You're like I'm gonna put this in my card pool, and it has a play as do as it does something. Like, like repeative responses in your card pool off an off an effect like this. This is different, and I mean, I mean, it's good. They're gonna obviously at some point they're gonna make one of these, and it's gonna be like, um, you don't realize what this card does until it's too late. But this, is, I think this card's cool. I like it. If I can find, hopefully off of order, because I'd like to play this in order, uh, a deck that just really wants to slam out foundations as quickly as possible and then go in for the kill. This is really nice twofold because it allows you to, if you have one or two in your opening hand, pretty easily play those four to five foundations on turn one. Mm -hmm. And then if you have another one or you draw it on your kill turn, uh, it allows you to just see your checks when you're going in on your kill turn. Uh, it's like, oh, there's my two. Well, I better stop and build for now. Mm -hmm. It allows you to play an all-in deck and have a safety net uh, to stop yourself yeah. uh, from going all in. Yep. All right. Moving on. We have Assassination Attempt. Uh, this is 5 difficulty 3 uh, plus uh, 5 speed for 4 damage. Uh Inconsistent character symbols, so this is air, chaos, and evil. Uh, charge, desperation for slam, and weapon. Uh, a static ability of while this card is in your card pool, when you when paying costs, you may discard this card instead of one momentum. Uh, oh, Dave says hi. <laughs> hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. <laughs> um. And enhance if you are if oh Dave says hi if back. If your opponent, <laughs> uh. sorry, um, enhance if your opponent's character is committed. This attack gets plus four damage. So I'm actually that gonna look, e so you guys alone. can disappear real quick for just a second. What? Why I will disappear? be letting you guys know two thing uh something after the show. Okay. <laughs> All right, but um. Oh, Brad. So this card. Brad is oh, the one that cool. says hi. I it oh, keeps coming hi, up. Brad. Dave Tolton. <laughs> ah, okay. I thought it was wag. <laughs> okay, but um. So assassination attempts. Uh, one really awesome art. Uh, I'm pretty sure the guy on the right is Lord Eustace. It's Eustace one of my favorite versus characters from Fate. somebody. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the other one because I didn't look too much um, at it. Because I was reading that static and that static. Oh, dear Lord. Um, Isn't it the Ragna, Ragnarok guy or Ragna or something? I don't know. But All right. Let, let's, let's talk about the static for a moment. So this does really awesome things. It allows you to... Like, no matter what, it's basically you can play an attack and clear it from your card pool as a cost, which is really awesome in an aggro deck that's going all in. Mm -hmm. uh, so it'll be neat things like finding some multiples or whatnot, like Ice Slasher. And, like, it more or less gets to work as a Rain Flush effect on anything when you have another multiple. Uh, the really insane thing is when you're playing ever hopeful with it so oh. you get to play this activate your ever hopeful put a foundation in their hand play your ever hopeful discard this from your card pool uh play your ever hopeful down uh so you've now played a free attack and either gotten free damage or free card in their hand and put a foundation and put a foundation in your hand and now you can play another attack possibly even another one of these and ever hopeful again Okay, so this is Haketh versus Eustace. What's oh, Haketh? Ah, oh, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Know what I want to do with this card? I, um, and I saw this in our. I saw this in the general comments from the people who posted this one. Mm -hmm. Is like on like on air as well as another option with it is um self self proclaimed legend. So like, yeah. for this in my card pool, and I'm just like. 
the ability sometimes to do certain abilities that your opponent can't see. Like, they don't know that you can somehow play an attack. And like, if they like, I'm going to play this. And then I'm just going to activate the ability, discard this from my card pool, just abort the attack, like, at some point, and then commit their character. Like, use all of, like, your floating defense offensive abilities that, like, maybe affect your next attack or something like that. And then you're like, oh, we're not even going to go to blocks. I'm just going to commit your character. That's, and now play my next attack. Awesome. and get, Dude, like, you could do some really dirty things with this card. Like, I love the idea of what this can do. What this can do. Also, just saying... Those four keywords, all really awesome, uh, just for filling uh, fulfilling combos. Oh my mm -hmm. god! I just thought of what you could put this in. You can put it in with the Yori stuff. No, you put yeah. this in Evil Bishamon. Evil! Oh my god! It's a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> and then just, you put this, this card's next, really good. And then you put this next to the uh, attack either his powerful attacks and just chuck your hand or you put this with his multiple attack. And by the way, if you just, if you have a way to commit your character, which we anyway. don't really have, uh, besides doing self-proclaimed legend, um, that, that's just, just turning this into a five mid for eight. Pretty solid. Um, I am really interested uh, to see... Joe, Bishamon does not have evil. He doesn't have evil this time around? No, he lost evil. All That's order right. uh, void, right. Crap. No, he lost... He, he, he lost... He, got, he, he lost evil this time. I'm like, this doesn't sound right. I'm like, I swear all this stuff has doesn't have evil on it. I'm like, yep, it doesn't have evil. I, I don't play him or any of his cards, so... I kind of, I kind of derped on that. Well, crap baskets. I played Hanya once in a tournament, and it failed me. I love Hanya. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like this card. It's only downside, and this just comes down to we need to see more of the set, is it's yet another attack without a block. Mm -hmm. um, that's something I want to get into later on once we see more of these set, because... I don't want to talk about it and find out and be like, oh, it's coincidence. There's actually the every single other attack in the set has a block, and it's just been a coincidence because well, they we want to show off all the flashy attacks. We've been seeing rare and starter exclusive attacks. Okay. Uh, so far, we've had Slaughterhouse with a plus three mid, which is a bad block, but still a block. Call a storm, no block. Assassination attempts, no block. Now, uh, in Slaughterhouse's defense, it's got the saw on it, so it has to be good. Uh, Reckless charge, no block. Um, Soul Gates has a plus one mid block. That's the one point against my case, and where I just want to wait until we see more cards at this point. Hmm. Um, but then also, Lightning Judgment does not have a block. All right. Uh, and then finally, we got this wonderful picture. No, not Nightman. We already talked about him. But behold, 8-Bit Nightman. Enemy of Dayman. That's as much of that sunny in Philadelphia song as I know. And then we have a partially cut off picture of one of our many lords and masters. We actually went up a lord and master. We have two now. We gained Brad. <laughs> we got Brad. Well, you know, the Sith, they come in too. So, you know, there's that. So, this is uh, the president of Jasco Games, Jason Horonsky, uh, showing up, and you can find the full picture on their Facebook over at uh, Universal Fighting System. Uh, he is holding up what we hope is the full production run of the boxes, not the test run. Um, yep. Showing off that if hey, it's the it's test run, it's a couple more weeks away. Um, on one side, and I know you guys can't see this picture, I apologize, on the back is, uh, Kadath and Runica, uh, the bottom is, uh, Elgar, and on the front side is Elgar and Cadenza, the bottom, I think, is Hikaru and Kadath. Yep. And then, of course, even though you guys can't see it, well, actually, yeah, you can. 
great big level 99 games right there. Level 99 games. They are awesome people. So is Jasco. But we kind of like level 99 a little more right now. Don't tell <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Just, just bring me my in, ending set and let it let me play Hikaru and all will be forgiven. All right. Yep. So, like I said, and of course, me being the cynical one that I am, uh, I did post release date or this photo didn't actually happen. This is very cleverly photoshopped, uh, much like <laughs> one of our player's dogs. We can promise you that dog is CGI. Mm -hmm. Does that even play anymore? Bo? Oh. Bo? Does Bo play any well? Yeah, Bo played at the... He came in second. He I just the don't hear from Bo any Arkansas. anymore. Hmm. All right. Bo talked, man. <laughs> All right, turning that off. Uh, what else we got? We got versus stuff. We got this game. Yeah. Yeah, yep. you don't want me playing this game, but I'm playing this game again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna talk about it a little bit, unless you have pictures. But I just wanna, they, I just wanna talk about because we've been talking about verse on and off for the past month or two on show, and, and, and then a somehow force just came out. Yeah, like literally in three weeks, Defenders and A Force came out. <laughs> like the yeah. the the first expansion, uh, Defenders was delayed several months, almost two months. And they decided we're just going to continue. We're just gonna when it's ready to print. When the, when the 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 reprinting that is looks a lot better to my understanding actually comes out, we're just gonna add it to the cycle and we're, we're staying we're staying on schedule. Yeah. That's what they decided to do. Instead of like waiting the delay a force, they just like nope. Three weeks later, we'll release the next set, which I really like. Um, with two new sets of like a hundred more cards. No, or it's so like 400 it's, more cards. Well, no, you get 4x of each card. In oh, okay. It. So it's, it's like 100. <laughs> My um, mistake. But, uh, like, that's going to be... A, it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be a real thing now. and It's going to take off a lot more. Because it's kind of died off a bit, I think. Because people are playing with the base set so much. Mm-hmm. Um... We're finally uh, having our first local this weekend. That'll be exciting to talk about when I come back. I'm playing Rocket Raccoon. Um, if there's anyone I'm watching, it. <laughs> if there's anyone that's terrifying. <laughs> uh, if, if there's anyone who's watching this who wants to have us talk more about Marvelverse, I'm fine with sharing deck lists because I like building decks and just mm. talking about them for any game. Yep. Yep. Uh, possibly some point in the future, like my goal. I would like to go to Origins and compete in it. Probably not the going to though, because I don't have much money for it. Um, is it just is the versus? They're running. Are they running versus as a one day event, or is it like two days for the? Uh, for... I will have to double check that. If it's a one day, I might be able. I no. You want to know why? Doesn't Origins fall the same weekend as our PTC? Uh, I don't know. I'll check that after the show. Is Look at right now. Well, I was going to say, it's like, plus the bonus side to Origins is Origins is in Columbus, Ohio. They have the best Chinese food on the planet there. Origins is, oh, 15th to the 19th. Okay. okay. So it's, it's, okay. it's okay. So it's not the same. Um, let's find, let's look for data on well, that. While you look for that, um, do we have anything I, on the chat? Uh, no. Sadly, but uh, for when it happens, my goal is maybe because uh, there's going to be a 2,500 event going on there. They're going to have 2,500 to first place. Um, I'm going to see if I can contact the winner of that. And because I would like to do, uh, there's not much for Marvelverse out there uh, for like. Uh, created content for it, like how we have for UFS. So if we can get that started by finding someone else to talk about it. Actually, I know uh, two individuals that I could contact and we can make this work. They are actually the starting of where I started broadcasting. They were what was what's known as 
I can't remember the name of the show now. I just totally blanked on me. <laughs> Great intro. Lousy payoff. Uh, the Ring Has Chosen with uh, Homer J. Kirshner and Captain Comic Clifford uh, Parmeter. I will go ahead and get in contact with those guys. Uh, it'll probably be easier of getting them on here now that we are on uh, Twitch. All right. Uh, what did they do? Like, were they, they, were they playing the, the old one? Did they play the new one? They were the premier podcast for the original Versus game. Okay. And I was there. I was essentially their giggles. I was their little unpaid intern. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, like, if I could find uh, the person who wins that on Facebook and talk to them. Because uh, currently it seems like people just mainly talk on their main Facebook page and nowhere else. Yeah. It looks like it's just Saturday. Ooh. I mean, it's a drive. It's Columbus. I yeah. mean, it's not a... Even for me... It's like almost... We're, drive. we're driving almost all the way to, to Indy for an event. It's a, it's, a, it's a power drive. Like, we could easily... Hmm, this is this is this is tempting now. We'll think about this. Yes, I know Jeff would like to go. I think if it's just one day. Well, I mean, plus Origins is just a mini Gen Con. It's less congested. It's a pretty fun. Yeah, we used to do it a whole yeah. bunch when uh, UFS was under different management. Mm. We'll think about it. I'll see what we can do. Maybe we can, like, if anything, we can drunk go there. We get a room for one night and then drive back. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Jim is going for Game of Thrones. Mm. We'll see. We'll All figure right. it. We'll figure it out. We'll look at our thing. Figure it out. Let, on let, our... Let's play in a tournament first before we think about playing in a thing that we have to drive. Well, look at our friend Keith, man, he he came in top sixteen at the one at Gen Con. Yeah, I know. I want him to uh, teach me to be good at this game. He played Wolverine. Nobody thought Wolverine was good. Yeah, he was like one of the three, and he topped with it. The secret to yeah, was, yeah, the absolute secret to mastering verses is knowing your build phase beyond anything else. Like mm -hmm. your build phase is your most important step of that game. I mean, in the new one, it's kind of explanatory. It's where you like you just gotta know what to know what it is. Like Yeah. It's build, draw it's like Play your play your location, recruit your guy. You, Make you sure you build. have stuff in the right rows. Yeah, yeah, that's the most that's important why, thing. That, that's why I have this awesome mat. Oh, you got the Doctor Strange mat. <laughs> yeah, I was at a a con in Buffalo, and the store pretty much was selling parts of their kit, and I was like, "Okay, I'll be using I'm this gonna... other thing again." gonna buy this mat <laughs> i'll be using this old thing again <laughs> which one is it joe i i got uh, this I is have... city champs and it's got iron spider on it oh that one nice or going through this old i got thing. my mr freeze i got my mr freeze one still i got my good my, my one of them still my marvel team up one do you have the city champs joker mat no, but I have every Spider-Man map. Ah. 